Hello everybody and welcome to the Gamers Brew playthrough of Sonic Adventure. I am John, I'm not here with anyone else today, but that's okay because I'm perfectly capable of doing this too. So, we're starting a new game, so let's uh, start off with a new file. If you weren't able to tell by the 360 loading uh, storage screen, yeah, I'm playing uh, the 360 version. This game originally came out in the Sega Dreamcast. And then they released the director's cut on the GameCube, which is basically just a GameCube port of the system that was, well, selling better than the Dreamcast. Plus, it had to do with the mini DVD had a lot more storage than a CD-ROM did. Oh, the things Sega could have done differently. And it seems our generic city of San Fran, York, Cisco. Love standing on a 2D background, by the way. This is happening. And his dialogue, straight out of the 90s. And the police ripped straight out of Police Academy. About as competent as Swiss cheese. What's up? How are you doing that? How are you surfing on land? Or why do you need that? Pose. I don't understand. Anyway. Station Square is where we are. We are introduced to the water monster. You are completely surrounded. Surrender yourself. Well. Something tells me he's not going to surrender. This game would be really short if he did. Lock on target, man. Well, one thing's for certain, you could at least hit the target, but well. Oh no! Our weapons are useless! Retreat! All personnel! Fall back! I like how all of them run away, except for that one guy who thinks that shooting at the monster is a good idea. And then for whatever reason, Sonic's just allowed in the middle of a crime scene shootout, and the helicopter's still there. Why is the helicopter still there? Again the surfing pose. You're not moving. If you were moving, I'd be really fucking impressed. Or scared. One of the two. Alright, so Chaos Zero. Why is your brain pulsing? Is it even your brain? I got hit by that again. I wonder where his organs go when he goes into the puddle of water. Oh, I missed. And the ground decided to stop rendering. And there he is jumping, and... Lo and behold, hey, the third hit. Yeah, he goes down in three hits. Actually, all things considered, he goes down... Well, three hits is as quickly as any of these bosses go down, character or otherwise. Man, I'm gonna hate this pose the rest of this playthrough, I swear to god. Come on, you big drip! Where you going? You big drip. Excellent. What a wonderful uh, set of dialogue Sonic has in his first speaking role. Ah, uh, man. No wonder your career goes down the toilet. It's almost like a foreshadowing scene of your entire career, Sonic. You know nothing, fool! It's Chaos, the god of destruction! Why would anybody just know that? You fucking conniving obese sack of crap. Who in later games actually has some of the best voice acting? Oh, the blue highlights. Boy, do those not say blue after this game. Don't ask me why, but they changed to. I guess. What? Tannish peachish Tannis? color that the rest of him is. Watch out! You're gonna crash! You know, it becomes well established at some point that Tails is a fucking genius now, at like eight years old. Probably over ambitious, but you know, whatever. And there's your first line of homing attacks and poorly drawn people in a floating TV. But never mind those, we're going to Emerald Coast. And in the number of times I've played this, the number of attempts I've had at recording this part, I have a feeling I'm going to run into a lot of issues. Why can't I homing attack the furniture? 
What did the furniture ever do to you, Sonic? Fucking bastard. We're bouncing around like a freaking idiot and losing all momentum. Okay. We're going through the loop. Going up the loop. Hey, seagulls. Hitting our first checkpoint. Hitting our second checkpoint, which I don't really understand why they need to be so damn close, but it is level one. Sure. I've died at this point once or twice. Randomly clipping. Okay. This part. Uh... I fucking hate this part. I never understood. What is with the uh, Sonic team in the fucking whale chase? And what's with the water here? Okay, so I don't quite have enough height to get over the gate. I don't even know why I'm bothering going through the gate. Just go around the fucking thing. Okay, taking that spring over... Slowly around the lighthouse. Man, you remember when stages that had to be loaded in three separate intervals were loaded in like 10 seconds? Less than 10 seconds? Oh, I messed up. Anyway, oh Jesus Christ, never realized how slow you move when you fuck that up. Christ, the camera's not really helping me either. Why did I homing attack that point? Ugh, anyway. This game handles section loading a lot better than uh, Sonic 06 could ever hope to claim, because in Sonic 06, the, the level might be four minutes long, but you're going to be loading at least five minutes at a time. You spend more time loading than playing. I have a problem with that. Also, I have a problem with the way this level's been going. I should not be jump missing any uh, checkpoints. These jump three. numbers, I am jump so glad these don't the ever come back in any game I've ever played. Of Sonic's, anyway. <laughs> okay. Avoid the water, it slows you down massively for no yes. fucking reason. And we found Tails. Hi, Tails. There we go. And we have 141 rings that we'll yeah, never use. We rescued Tails, even though he seems like he's perfectly fine, just kind of lounging on the beach. His legs are th clipping through his torso. This is just... What happened anyway? You can tell that this was not made before like the year 2000. I think this game was originally uh, released in year... Uh, I want to say 99 or 98 when it was released on the Dreamcast. Why not just use my plane, the Tornado? Um, the Director's Cut version, I don't remember when it got released. Hello, Chaos Emerald. Why is his tongue stuck out there? Yep. I just happened to find one of and who leaves their cocktails unattended? That's a sin. This thing's got unlimited power, you know. So I figured, why not use it to power my plane? Supercharge! I can think of at least two reasons why that's a bad idea. First off, even if you use nitrous, if it's not done correctly, which it appears you didn't do correctly in the first place, because otherwise you wouldn't have blown the fuck up. Nitrous can blow your engine anyway. And having something with unlimited power, to quote Emperor Palpatine. Yeah, we all know how that one ends. Emperor Palpatine dies, he's betrayed by Darth Vader, and if this game doesn't end with me throwing tails down a corridor in, uh... Oh, right, I can't go that way yet. Gotta go to the Mystic Ruins, because Tails told me to. Anyway, if this game doesn't end the way uh, Return of the Jedi ends, with Sonic throwing Tails down into, well, a hole, 
while Tails is spewing electricity from his hands, he's gonna be bitterly disappointed at a missed opportunity. But anyway, here's Mystic Ruins. I'm gonna run this way. <laughs> if it isn't Sonic! Yep. Here's Dr. Robotnik. I don't understand this. This clearly takes place after at least some, if not all, of the 2D classic games. Why doesn't Sonic remember Dr. Robotnik? Tails remembers him. Or else what, you big loser? Or else I'll take them from you by force! The hard way! As opposed to by force the easy way, or by... Well... Doing nothing. The hard way. Here's the Egg Hornet. I'm not exactly sure how it hovers with all of that weight on there, and the thruster's clearly trying to move it. But I could see Eggman thinking this is useful. That means anything. Okay, missiles are flying. Missiles are useful. Not against, you know, things that run around at 100 miles an hour, but useful. And time to take this guy out. Easy peasy. Spam the homing attack, you can't lose. Although apparently I can break the programming enough that he doesn't actually get out to explode if I keep attacking. Hey, I'll play Who'd have thought? I probably spent more time with him having no life left but still being an active boss than I spent legitimately fighting the guy. Anyway. We've brought down the Egg Hornet. Whoop de fucking do. We're having our surfing on land pose well, for some reason. So and there's hard. Chaos being or Tails being stupid with a Chaos Emerald. Somehow Eggman can see behind him, even though he has no mirrors or no glass. My god, so many missed opportunities. He's not even holding the damn thing, he's using the force to hold that Chaos Emerald near his palm. He's got to be a Sith Lord or a Jedi Master or something. He's got mind over matter, like, down pat. Chaos could learn a thing or two from him. You know, I bet all this really does is give Chaos a bitchin... or a chance at a bitchin' Falcon Punch. And look at that arm. It's got skeletal structure. I think. I'm not exactly sure why throwing diamonds at him gives him skeletal structure, but... Eh, what are you gonna do? Also, somehow the skeletal structure is made of water. Because it goes away just like his brain thing when he goes into a puddle. And Eggman throws a flashbang, and we're left to, uh... We can't let him get away with this, can we? No Why not? Tails. It's not like he... I don't even know why we're bothering. Huh? Why don't we just let him get all the emeralds? Because he gets all the emeralds anyway. But of course, I know how this ends. i take that. I'm gonna bring it over here. I'm gonna run this way. I'm gonna run this way. Yeah, knowing things about this game, some stages require keys to open. Don't ask me why. I like this song. I like this stage. I like this stage mostly because of its song. I could do with less of the updraft stuff, but 
I like the music that's played in this stage. We're running on air! Leaves. Okay, got a homing attack my way over. Jump before it collapses from this random ass tornado. Whoa, 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 oh shit. Okay, that happened. Controller's going fucking Head nuts for the tornado. You should be able to get out of the tornado. Yes, yes, thank you, Navi. I'm pretty Jump sure I've played this game before. Game. Thanks, Navi. Go away, please. Mr. Sure not saying hey, listen all the fucking time. I guess it makes sense to try to fly up the top of the tornado, but I don't fully understand why. Hello, Eagle. I also like this song because it's a throwback to Sonic 3D Blast. Pretty sure it's the same, whether it's the Saturn or the Genesis version, but I only had the Genesis version, so... I'd have to look up if it's the same in Saturn. I don't exactly remember the name of the stage that the song is from in Sonic 3D Blast, but that doesn't really matter. It's the first one. It's probably got the word green or emerald or hill or coast or whatever. Sonic's first stages are pretty damn generic. Or, well, not generic, but... Well, yeah, they're kind of a generic islandy, beachy, coasty, hilly sort of thing, and Mushroom Hill Zone doesn't count as a first stage, because it's technically not the first stage. And I hit that thing. Great. Sonic running around like an idiot. Hitting springs. More eagles. There are a lot of eagles that apparently fly over tornadoes. And somehow this thing is just kind of floating above a tornado with really nothing supporting it. What's keeping it afloat? Uh... Elvino. Camera doesn't always cooperate when you're doing these fast areas, but what are you gonna do? It's also difficult to tell where it's automated, and then it just decides to stop being automated and you careen directly into a wall. But that's okay, because we have a Chaos Emerald. Hey, I just fused with Tails. I'm Miles the Hedgehog Prower. Yeah, not bad. This is weird. Anyway, moving on. We've completed those two levels. The train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. That's my cue. I need to go back to Station Square. La la la. And we will see you for part two of Sonic Adventure. I am John of the Gamers Brew. Have a good one. Did you like what you saw? Please like and subscribe down below. And let us know in the comments what else we can do for you. Also, please see our description for our Facebook and our Twitter page. And as always, thank you for watching.